Hi everyone. As most of you know, May is Ehlers Danlos Syndrome Awareness Month. Everyone has been doing a great job on raising awareness, but I want to take it a step further and I could use your help. I want to host an origami owl jewelry bar where 75% of my commissions will go to the Ehlers Danlos Society for EDS research particularly the hedge study. If you've watched my previous vlogs, my family and I traveled to Nashville, Tennessee back in August to participate in the hedge study, which is where a group of physicians and researchers are taking samples from patients with EDS type three, the hypermobility type, in order to find the causative gene because all of the types of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome have a causative gene identified except for the most common type than the type I have, which is type three. You're probably like, what in the heck is Origami Owl? And I'm gonna tell you, Origami Owl is a jewelry company known for their living lockets. Each piece of jewelry is customizable. You fit your personalized charms that are intended to represent you or tell your story. Just whatever represents you. Back in April, I made an impulsive decision to become an Origami Owl designer. I learned of Origami Owl years ago because Selino, my fiance, had purchased me a locket for our three year anniversary. And since the quarantine, I was doing some spring cleaning and I came across that locket not that long ago. And when I came across that locket, I realized what a special representation that locket meant to our relationship. And I just kind of liked the idea. And so I went on the website and started looking further. And that is when I signed up to become a designer. So if you don't know what a jewelry bar is, normally a jewelry bar can take place in person or virtually. In this case, it's virtually. I will create a Facebook group. It will, I've already created a Facebook group. The link will be down below and on the assigned date, which is Thursday, May 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Everyone will gather in that Facebook group. I will go live to play a game of bingo, do free jewelry giveaways. Everyone interacts through the comments. And while I'm live, I will do an EDS Q&A for anybody who has any questions. One of the prizes that can potentially be won at the jewelry bar, aside from free charms and necklaces and that sort of thing is a wrap for one of the wrap bracelets that is a zebra design which represents the EDS community. It's currently discontinued but I have one and one lucky winner will get that for free. If you can't attend but you still want to take part in the fundraiser, I will have the also have the link where you can shop anytime through my website and those commissions through the month of May will be donated to the EDS Society. I'm hoping this will be fun. Invite your family, your friends, anybody who might be interested. You can give them the link. Like I said, they don't have to attend the jewelry bar. They can just shop through the link if they wish to support EDS research. I figured I would do the showing and preview of the Origami Owl Lockets, what you can do with them, what we offer in advance so that everyone who is not able to attend that night or would just prefer to shop without attending the jewelry bar can do so. So, I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. Okay, I tried to wear as much jewelry to show you all as I can. The locket that I'm currently wearing has a credit card charm because I've been bitten by the quarantine shopping bug and everyone's just sitting at home buying stuff online and you can't even remember what you buy when stuff shows up at the door. It's a problem. I have a cross which represents my faith. I have a cow because Selino and I are considering building a house on my parents' property and I wanted to do our kitchen with cows. So the cow kind of represents that. And I have a peas in a pod charm for my garden. So our most basic lockets are called rounds. They come in three different sizes. The petite locket holds one to three charms. It is very small. I prefer the petite 
Lockets, I think, because I'm I am small and it just goes good. We have medium lockets, which hold four to seven charms, and the large, which holds eight to twelve charms. There are two different ways of opening your locket. The first is the hinge style, where there's a little groove in the side of the locket and you stick your thumb in there and open it and place your charms in like so. There's also the base and face style. The base and face style gives you more options because the top piece, which is the face, twists off and you place your charms in that way. But I say that it gives you more options because say a new face comes out next season and you like that one, then you can only purchase the face and it'll twist onto your base that you already have. There are also lockets that are not round. Some are heart shaped. That has been very popular this season and I love it. And it's reversible. So you, if you want something more basic and subtle, you have that side. And if you want a little more bling bling, which are all Swarovski crystals around the side, then you can switch it that way. There is a birthstone locket, which I will post a picture of in the corner. I have it, but I don't have it set up. Where you can put your birthstones of your loved ones, anyone in your family, your pets, which is a pretty neat concept. We offer rings that you can place charms in. Our earrings, well, these are Clara studs. And the funny thing about that is I've not been able to wear earrings since my sophomore year of high school. Homecoming actually. And I tolerate these. All of the jewelry is nickel and lead free. It is stainless steel. Great for allergies. I do have problems reacting to jewelry and I don't react to any of the pieces. Which is surprising because I react to everything. If you aren't a necklace person or a ring person, we offer watches and bracelets. What I've found to be popular lately are the wrap bracelets. You can change out the wraps and of course you can change out the face on Ignore That Bruise. I had a blown IV from when I was in the hospital. And also for the bracelets, there are regular charm bracelets like this. And you can clip on the Ingly charms for lack of a better term. As far as charms, they offer a pretty wide variety. I'm not going to show my entire collection because you can go to the website or join the Facebook group. What most people are probably going to jump right on if I know my follower base are the Harry Potter charms. In my Harry Potter locket, I have Harry, Ron, and Hermione with the Gryffindor color themed stardust crystals and a quote in there that says be brave because bravery represents Gryffindor. They have faith, the word donuts, pink lemonade and lemons. If you're a fur mom, they have dog bones and even something that says fur mom. They have different hobbies like bingo and I love to read and here are some of the birthstones. They have what are called stardust crystals that you can put in your lockets around the charms for more bling bling. They are offered in different colors as you can see and there's some swan charms. And last night there is a new collection for Justice League with Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, and The Flash, which is pretty cool too. I haven't been able to get my hands on that. It is limited edition, so you've got to get those while they last. Feel free to tell your family and your friends about this fundraiser. Like I said, you don't have to attend the actual jewelry bar. You, I will have a link in the description to where you can purchase and proceeds will still go towards this fundraiser for the EDS Society. If you do want to take part in the jewelry bar where you can win free jewelry items and play the games and just have a fun time for about 30 minutes, 
then that will take place on Thursday, May 21st at 7 p.m. I will have the link to the Facebook group underneath the shopping link. You can shop anytime now through the end of May and the proceeds will be donated to the EDS Society. And my goal with this new business is to do one fundraiser per month. So if you are interested in becoming a hostess for an organization you are passionate about, then let me know. As a hostess, you do not have to go live. All you do is I create the Facebook group, you invite your friends and family, and you show up on the date you picked. And we play games, have fun, do giveaways, and shop for jewelry. And as a hostess, your benefit is a free shopping spree, providing that your jewelry bar meets a certain number of sales. It, this has really forced me to come out, be, come out of my comfort zone going live. I mean, I know I make YouTube videos, but you can edit YouTube videos. Going live is a little nerve wracking to me, but this has really forced me to come out of my comfort zone and I'm actually enjoying it. I'm gonna go and close with that. Thanks everybody for your support. I will, would appreciate it and the whole EDS community would appreciate it too because God knows we need a cure. And what better way to raise money for an organization you are passionate about than to donate while also receiving something you actually want in return.